Hello there and uh, welcome back. In this video I am going to show you how to use uh, Compose Boom, which is a short for a bill of material. The main purpose of uh, Compose Boom is to avoid defining Compose library versions for each dependency. With a Boom you can define only one dependency that will handle versioning of your Compose libraries automatically all by itself. With uh, this you don't have to define that uh, Compose version uh, extension uh, in your uh, project level Gradle build file anymore. Because with a Compose Boom we can just define this uh, one dependency and then for all our Compose libraries we don't have to specify an explicit uh, uh, version, like you can see right here. Uh, one thing to point out here is that uh, Compose Boom does not contain uh, those actual dependencies, which means that uh, you still have to declare them in your uh, Grail build file, but without an explicit version instead. Now, uh, you might be wondering uh, how can we know uh, which version is uh, Boom using for each Compose libraries uh, in our project, and uh, that's actually a good question. So Boom uh, will use uh, only the stable versions for each library of yours. And you can also check the library version mapping uh, to find out that information. And that uh, mapping information is available on the official Android developers documentation. And within that version we can see all other different Compose uh, libraries and their respective versions as well. So all those versions that you can see right here are actually stable. Okay, so there are many different uh, Compose uh, libraries right here and the Compose Boom uh, will handle all those versioning by itself. However, uh, if you wish to use some of those uh, versions that uh, are not stable yet, for example an alpha version, uh, then you can do that uh, quite easily by explicitly uh, defining that uh, within your project. So as you can see in this case uh, for this Material 3 Compose uh, library, we have explicitly specified the alpha version, which means that this version will uh, override an existing version of that library from this uh, Compose Boom. And of course if you want to use the stable version, you can just remove this actual version and there you go. Now uh, the only thing that is not included in this uh, Compose Boom is the Compose uh, Kotlin uh, compiler extension version. Because for this case you need to make sure that you are using a Compose to Kotlin compatibility map to find out the compatible version. And for that of course you can also check the official documentation. Or you can just write um, on a Google uh, Kotlin to Compose compatibility map and then this documentation will appear. So in this case here we can see uh, which uh, actual Compose compiler version is compatible with uh, which uh, Kotlin version. So in this case the latest one at this point uh, is uh, Compose 1.4.0 and that version is compatible with uh, Kotlin version of uh, 1.8.0. And that's exactly what uh, I did right here. So as you can see in this case I can specify that to 1.4.0 and for our uh, Kotlin version I have specified 1.8.0, okay? And of course this extension is uh, unnecessary at this point. And uh, there you go! So that's how not to worry anymore about the versions of your Compose libraries. Like, share and subscribe, but only if you find this video helpful. See you in the next one!